Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the flip side of crypto. In today's session, I'm going to do a quick technical analysis on three different coins. We have the Tron and BTT plus Zill USDT. So today, Martinez, he will not be with us. He will join tomorrow. And I will go through the three different coins by doing their technical analysis. Let's start first with TRX USDT or Tron. So if we look at the chart of Tron, I am using here daily time frame. You can see that the market is in a clear upward. And since we are in an upward, we should consider a buy position. So our most likely scenario is bullish. So let's go on the lower time frame to see what's happening and where we can spot an area to buy. Here, the market is trading inside a bullish channel. If I draw and link these bottoms here, we can see that the market is inside a bullish channel so the market as you can see guys here it made a retracement and it is stuck around this level here okay so it is now a good point if someone is considering day trading to buy around this level here because the market might rally to the upside as always i said a correction does not means there will be a reversal but sometimes and rarely a reverse a correction might turn out to be a reversal for so for now we still inside we say we are still in a correction this is a correction here and we need to see how the market will react around this level that means we need to see the price action around this level and most probably the market will rally to the upside if this scenario was applicable then our first target is the 0.1465 so our entry price around 30 13.20 our target is 14.60 and then if the market managed to break the all-time high then look for around number 17 18 and etc so our most likely scenario is covered let's see the least likely scenario in case we were wrong about our bullish one so the least likely scenario is to consider a sell position when you should consider a sell position here we have a form of head and shoulder and for those who are familiar with head and shoulder they know that uh, this pattern reflects a potential reverse reversal. So when you should consider a movement to the downside, if the neckline of this head and shoulder is broken, and then you see a movement to the downside, and we have as first target around this level here, and we have a strong area around here. Okay, so we can say target profit around here and target profit around here. So these are the two scenarios for Tron USDT. Let's cover and talk about BTT USDT. So here, if I go on the daily time frame as well, we can see that the market is um, moving to the upside. And now we have a retracement as well. So we have this long wick here. A bearish candlestick with a long wick that shows that we have a lot of sellers it is quite um, let's say make me feel uh, make me fear of a reversal but it's too early I need to see what's happening on the lower time frame to consider a reversal so here there is a long wick that shows we have a lot of sellers if I go on the lower time frame to see what's happening and now we can see that this is still a reversal it's still a correction sorry okay so we are in the middle of a correction it's too early to say it is a reversal so our most likely scenario here since we are in an upward movement is to consider a buy position as always if the market is to the upside we should consider a long position not a sell one your friend is your trend is your friend. So 
let's try to find where is the best place to buy this BTT USDT. So if I draw like this, the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that the market is close to the 50 and the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. So we use this tool to know when a certain correction will end. So here the market is still above the 50 and 61.8, which shows that this is this is a correction. It's too early con to consider it as a to consider it as a reversal. And if I draw here, we have a strong trend line. So my expectation is to see the market bouncing or making a correction around this level here, 61.8, and then you will have a great opportunity to buy with a cheaper price to the upside towards the previous high, 0.0140, okay? Around this level here, or 0.01370. So we're still in an upward movement. The best or the op optimal price to buy is around the 61.8 that coincide with this trend line. And in case, as always, the market managed to break the all-time high, then we should consider round numbers here, 0, 16, 18, and etc. since we don't have historical data. This is our most likely scenario. And as always, we need to see the flip side. The flip side, if <clears throat> this correction turned to be a reversal, when you should consider a sell position. I will start to sell sell this coin or consider a short scenario when the market managed to break this formation here but for sure not just a small breakout because most probably these breakouts are fake ones so not just a breakout below it then you should consider a sell don't rush the short scenario so to be able to consider a short scenario i need to see a breakout a close below or below this area here, a close of the candlestick below it. And then if I see a certain lower lows and lower highs, then I should consider a sell position. Okay. This is when it comes to BTT, USDT. And finally, we should cover the ZIL USDT. So if I go on the daily time frame of this coin as well, the market is to the upside. Our most likely scenario is long. So we should buy this coin. And to be able to know when to buy, we should wait for a correction. Always, guys, whenever you need to buy a certain coin, it's not wise to buy it at the highest point. You should wait for a correction because it is cheaper to buy it when the correction ends. So here, we will look for a correction. As you can see, the market is in a clear upward movement, impulse, correction, impulse, correction, and impulse. So it's time most probably for a correction. It, we are on the highest point, so it's not wise to buy from here. Let's see when or where we can buy the ZIL USDT. <clears throat> so first, let's draw our bullish channel. We have a bullish channel here. If I use these um, trend lines. And also inside this bullish channel, we can see that we have some sort of a triangle. Okay, you can draw both. It's not wrong to consider two patterns, one inside the other. So here we have a triangle. And at the same time, we have a bullish channel. My expectation is, if the market make a replacement first, support that we should consider is around this level here so the market might get stuck around here so it might be a great time or place to buy price around 0 1940 and from there you should consider the movement to the upside another place to consider a buy in case the market wasn't stopped by this support here you should consider a second level which is relevant is around 1540, 0 0.1540. So the market might retrace to the downside now if managed to break this uh, zone here. And then it will go up again from here since the buyers will jump 
at this price here around 50, 15.50. Okay, so this is our bullish scenario. Also, we can apply the ABC structure or ABCD structure to know when the movement to the upside might end. So if I use the ABCD, we have here, this is A, B, C, and then D. Okay, why I chose the D to the upside? Because if I use the Fibonacci extension, this is the Fibonacci extension, and this is 100% or the whole movement of this impulse, using it to the end of the correction, it shows that most probably the market will end. Let me adjust this here. So the most probably that the market will end around this level here. So A, B, C, D. Okay, so if the market made a correction, our first target is the previous high. Let me make things clearer. Okay, so first um, target will be, sorry. So our first target will be around this all uh, retracement here. So here the market might, might make a correction. First target is the all-time high. Second target will be around 0 0.26 in case the all-time high was broken. Okay, so this is when it comes to the most likely scenario. However, when we should consider or what is the flip side of this technical analysis is a short scenario or the least likely scenario in case the market managed to break this area here and start to do lower lows and lower highs, then you should consider a sell. But as long as the market is above this area here, then you should consider a buy position and the market will be bullish. However, if it broke this level and closed below it, then you should consider a sell position. So this is it guys for our today's video we covered three different coins and we gave you the flip side of both technical analysis on each coin thanks for watching and see you tomorrow mm -hmm.